If you thought the new HTC One M8 was the only new beast coming out before Easter, well, you were wrong. And if you thought the One was going to be unmatchable, well, this is the Samsung Galaxy S5. Taking a fast look at the specs, it's clear that the S5 is a flagship. Same box as always, with some light between the two halves to ease the opening process. Not for me anyway. Here on top we have the phone in the white color, in its cheap plasticky beauty. Well, beauty is probably too much to say. Let's just say it's a Samsung. Inside the box, as always, we have manuals and warranty, earphones with spare rubbers, wall adapter and USB cable. And here is the star of the moment. In this shimmery white color, the back cover has a kind of a pearl effect. Not so bad though, but just for your eyes. In terms of build quality, and most of all, feel in the hand, it's not very charming. You can tell in a matter of seconds, this is just cheap plastic. Of course, it's lighter than the competitors with 145 grams, and with the IP67 rating, it gets some points. But then it loses them all again due to the sealed cap on the bottom that gets in your way every time you have to connect the USB cable. However, we're going to get into it in the full review. Now let's pass the software side. TouchWiz on top of the latest version of Android is improved in a lot of ways. But in terms of fluidity and smoothness, we have a defeat again. Compared to HTC Sense or stock Android, this skin is too heavy. And even with the Snapdragon 801 clocked at 2.5 GHz, there still is some lag and an overall slowness. Don't get me wrong, it's not properly slow. But it's not as fast as you can expect, as you can get from an HTC One, for instance. The settings panel is one of the major changes on this version of TouchWiz. And in this case, the user is the one who's slow. It's almost impossible to quickly find what you need at first glance. Anyway, stay tuned for the full review coming soon and leave a thumbs up and a comment about the S5. As always, thanks for watching.